Hi Scott, it's Tom Dixon from London here. Hey Tom, so good to see you. Really annoyed not to be in New York right now, um, but we're here to talk about the razors, right? So excited to talk to you about razors. Let's do it. So Scott, what made you want to work with our studio in the first place? So we've always really admired your work and the work of your studio. The objects are just so beautiful. There's a tactility, a, a real dedication to craftsmanship and materiality. We've just always admired you and it was an opportunity for us to work with a real force in the design world. So this is the second stage of the collaboration. How did the first stage inform the second? You know, the, the London Design Festival, the interactivity, our first meeting and um, the subsequent stages. Tell us about that. So London Design Fair was over a year ago and one of the most amazing things that stuck with us was this this way that people were interacting with the razors, taking them apart, putting back together, making a unique version just for themselves. There was several hundred combinations that you could put together. Um, and then we asked people which one worked best for them. We wanted to bring that into people's homes and make that an accessible product. What would you say makes those razors unique? So we took the approach we had last year at London Design Fair of these forms uh, and the materiality, and we really made that into a razor that's accessible. Oh, too often the, the razors look like they might be racing cars or vacuum cleaners, and I want my razor to feel a bit like a razor. So I want it to have a certain amount of weight, and it's got to feel comfortable in the hand. And um, the rest is pretty basic, the correct angle um, for shaving. So nice speaking to you, Tom. You and your team are just so wonderful. It's wonderful talking to you. I really can't wait until people start using these razors. Scott, really sorry you can't be here for the launch. We're looking forward to it. It's happening right now. I'll see you soon in New York.